a good morning. <laughs> Thank you. You got your dress? Oh, I'm glad you love it. <laughs> oh, you have an outing at Hilton tomorrow. Okay. Okay. No, don't worry. You know here, a messy house of fashion, we take care of the impossible. <laughs> it's okay. I'll get to it now. All right. Uh, I'm sorry, ma. No, it's okay. Um, I just got a call from Alaja. She wants a dress delivered to her tomorrow morning. Okay, Okay, ma. and it must happen. So, um, tell the tailors to start cutting. I'll meet them soon. Okay, ma. And let them know they're working late. If she wants a dress tomorrow, she's getting it tomorrow. No two ways about it. No problem, ma. Has Jenny gotten her dress? Yes, and she loves it. Good. Mm -hmm. Get to it. Thank you. I'm awfully sorry, so sorry. I'm awfully sorry. Ah, it's okay. I, I could get you another phone if you don't mind. Uh, no, don't worry. Once I fix the screen, it will be as good as new. Okay, why don't I at least pay for it? <laughs> don't worry, okay? But, um, you could at least give me your number, though. My number? Yes. Why? Well, let's just say it's not every day beautiful and a gorgeous lady breaks your phone. Uh, this whole experience will be worth it if at least I get your number. Oh, by the way, I am Bio. Oh, Tara. Nice to meet you, Tara. Yeah. So, can I get that number now or do I have to beg you for it? You don't have to beg me. But why don't I get your number? I'll call you when I'm more settled too. You know? Thank you for your kindness. Oh, yeah. perfect. Better. Sure. All right, thank you. All right. I'm sorry again. All right, okay. Yeah. Once again, I apologize for today. Hey, what a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I'm glad you called. Uh, all right, in that case, have a, have a wonderful night. All right, thank you. Yeah. Specky, oh. Apologies, darling. I wanted to surprise you. Surprised? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Are you stressed? Oh, honey, it's been such a busy day. But now that you're here, I'm relieved. I've missed you so much. I've missed you too. Oh. <laughs> How's London? Cold and wet. I had to jump on the next available plane to come. Oh. Feel the warmth of your body. Oh. <laughs> come, come. I have a surprise for you. I've got a gift for you from London. A gift for me? Yes. I love yes. gifts. <laughs> really? Yes. Ah!
What are you doing? home and there he was in his glorious majesty. And so you decided to surprise him with a proposal? Yes! I almost fainted in shock when he did. <sighs> I can't believe this. So you mean all my prayers and fasting is finally coming to pass? Oh my god, you do this one. My god, you do this one though. I can't believe this. So my friend is finally getting Hello? Don't you dare touch me. Honey, what's wrong? You! You are everything that is wrong with this world. You are a blight, a curse, a degenerate that deserves to be hit by a train. Tara, what has come over you? You can't mean all these terrible things you're saying to me. Oh, but I do. I do, Ray. Come on, you're scaring me. We're okay this morning. I thought you loved me. You know I do. You're the most important person in my life. I don't know anything, Ray. Everything I thought I knew is not true. Tara, you're overreacting. I love you. I proposed to you last night. Lies! Nothing but lies coming from your mouth. Please talk to me. 
Your wife called from London. Is this not your secret phone? I bet you forgot to switch it off. Now go ahead and tell me you are not married. One more time, Ray. This is all news to me. News, huh? Yes. No wonder. What are you doing? Calling her. To tell her her husband is denying her. Stop it. So I guess we're getting somewhere there. You're truly married, Ray! Yes, I am. But it's not that simple. You're the one I love. Are you insane? You have completely lost your mind. I love you, Tara. I do not love her. Get out. Come on, Tara. We've come too far to throw this all the way. Get out of my house! No! Please, Tara. Leave! Please. Tara. Out! Right now! Leave! Leave my house! Trusted him. God, why am I so stupid? You're not stupid. Don't say that. He's the one cursed with stupidity, not you. No, no, Ada. I must be really stupid. I was in a relationship with a married man for one year. It's not your fault. Okay? So just stop making it look like it's your fault. Stop it. I'm so pathetic, Ada. Why can't I be like you? Don't say that. Yes, you always make the right decisions. You always choose the right men. Oh. Tara, listen to me. You're not pathetic. <laughs> You're beautiful, <laughs> wonderful, successful <laughs> young lady. And that's you should be proud of. Okay. I'm a failure. Come on. You're not. The mates are married with children. And I can't even get a man to love me. But I love you, right? I'm your friend, I love you. <laughs> Come here, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, how are you feeling? And I think there's something wrong with me. Come on, not again, please. Please. I have been crying since yesterday over a man. And you did nothing to stop me. Well, I tried. But you're obviously in pain, so... <laughs> something has to be wrong with me. I'm not sure about that. I'm one of the most successful fashion designers in this country. That's correct. I single-handedly built a multi-million naira business in my 20s. Of course, yes. <laughs> Lots of young men and women out there, they envy me. Some of them even want to be like me. Very true. And yet I'm here crying my heart out because of a man. And you said there's nothing wrong with me. Tara. <laughs> Adam, I'm done. I'm done. 
I'm not sure you do mean that, right? I'm done with love. I mean it. I'm done with love. I'm done with men. I'm done with relationship. I'm done with whatever concerns this. I don't want it anymore. Oh, Tara, come on. You can't just give up because of a little disappointment. Oh, no, honey. I'm not giving up. I am just walking away from something that has made me cry for years. Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> I'm walking away from the assumption that, that I need a man to be complete. And if you check it, well, I don't need a man. All I need is myself. Am I not enough? Of course you are. That settles it then. <laughs> but you've always wanted a family. Of course I will have a family. <laughs> I'll just opt for adoption. Yes. <laughs> In fact, I'm glad this happened. It has opened my mind to a lot of other possibilities. <sighs> Guess what? What? I'm done feeling sorry for myself. We should go celebrate. Celebrate what exactly? My freedom from men, from stress. Honey, the fact that I stumbled on this life-changing realization, it's worth celebrating. Tara, I don't think that's a good idea, trust me. I don't think so. Oh, really? What would you prefer? And I go back and start crying. Let me cry. Okay. Okay. Let's go celebrate. Great! That's what you want. Let's go! <laughs> I don't like to disappoint my clients, and that's why they keep coming to me. You think I'm the only fashion designer out here on the streets? No, ma. And that means if we start to reduce the quality we are known for, they will stop coming. I know, it won't happen again, ma. Yeah, better not. If not, we won't be working together much longer. Okay, I'll send up a plug for delivery. Good. Thank you, Greening from ear to ear. I think I'm just quite happy with the progress I'm making with Quartet. Oh, about <laughs> that. I've always known you're talented. You just need to brush up on your drawings, you know, like the designing aspects. Oh. And you're good to go. Thank you so much, babes. Oh, don't thank me now. Thank me when you move in with Charles and you guys start making all the pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what area does Charles stay in London? Peckham. Oh, that is the Nigerian zone. Mm -hmm. Their Owambe parties is more Nigerian than Lagos parties. Are you serious? Yeah, well, you are going to make a lot of money making clothes there. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I'll tell you. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I think I like your lively mood. Ah, my mm -hmm. sister. Life must go on. And that's the spirit, girl. Mm -hmm. I'm starting my adoption process tomorrow. Whoa. You seem really serious about this. Yeah, I'm very serious. I'm going to adopt myself a beautiful baby girl, Aww. give her all my love, and everything will be fine. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're not taking that? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Thank Hmm. That's what it takes with my sister. Hmm. <laughs> Tell you. Interesting. Great. No. Some stranger that thinks that me breaking his home is an invitation for romance. So, you're not going to be Not now. Not ever. Okay. Hello? Yes? What? Oh my god, where is she now? Okay, th thank you, thank you. What's wrong? Omotala said 
Dorothy collapsed at her place while trying to make a delivery. What? <laughs> you either tell me what is going on with you, or I'll have no choice but to fire you. More than five, ma. No, you're not. You already collapsed in the office twice, and now a client's house. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. If you have a health issue, you have to tell me now. Then what's going on with you? I'm... I'm pregnant. Oh. Pregnant? How far gone? Um, a couple of months, give or take. Wow. Congratulations. I didn't know you were in a relationship. No, it's complicated. Ahmad, uh, please, can you give me a day off tomorrow? You know we have a lot of work to do here tomorrow. What do you need a day off for? I want to do something very important. Work will be more important than your job. Me getting an abortion. An abortion. Why? Ma, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to be a mother. I, I don't think that's true. You look mature enough to me. It's not about maturity. It's about readiness and I am not ready to shoulder any kind of responsibility. I I don't think I can I can't give you a day off. We have a lot of work to do here tomorrow and I need you. Okay, man, I, I understand. Thank you. I had to do it. I'm sorry, okay? The only thing you had to do was to mind your business. She was going to get an abortion. And that's her choice. We both know she's making a mistake. No, we don't know that for sure. Yes! She's going to wake up one day and realize she has made the biggest mistake of her life. So you think the best thing for you to do in convincing her is to tell your assistant to keep her own baby for you to adopt? It's a win-win. And you know I plan to adopt a baby. Then you go to an orphanage. Girl, it's fate. It was meant to happen. Oh, girl, come on. Just stop being delusional. Mm. What is it? You're trying to let your emotions get the better of you. How can you just tell your assistant, your own assistant, to keep our own baby, a child she doesn't want, for you to adopt? That's a recipe for disaster, girl. Or... Maybe that's the right thing to do. Yo, yeah, come on. Let's try to be realistic for once. Uh, it's a win-win. It's okay if she doesn't want the baby. I want it. So she would have to say yes to that first, right? Oh, she will. I'm certain. Okay. I'm certain. Oh, she's calling. Dorothy. Really? Oh, okay. So, she said yes. I told you. <laughs> I <Wow>. told you. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Let me 
help you. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me help you with your bag. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Come on, sit down. It feels good to be here. How are you feeling? Uh, to be honest, I'm um, a bit nervous. It feels strange living with my boss. <laughs> well, don't think of me as your boss. Just think of me as your elder sister from now on. That is going to be hard though. I know. But I know you can also try. I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, we're going to have a wonderful time. Come, let me show you to your room. Okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. I got it. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. So how is your new housemate? Oh, driving me crazy. How? By turning herself into my new bike cleaner. Oh, I know, but she needs to relax, especially in her condition. I think you just have to take a chill pill with her. Oh. She's just trying to get through to the whole process. She'll relax eventually. By the way, has she signed the contract? No contract. I don't get it. I thought you told me you'd speak to your lawyer to make this whole arrangement formal. Oh, <laughs> yeah. We'll eventually do that. We'll still do that. Well, if you ask me, I think now is the right time for you to do that. I just don't want to scare her with documents and lawyers. She's not going anywhere. Well, so what if she just decides to wake up one morning and then tell you that she's no longer interested? What will you do? Trust me, that will never happen. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry if I'm not being as optimistic as you are. Sorry. treating me like I'm invalid. Because of your condition, I'm trying to make sure you don't hurt yourself. You and I know you don't care about me. You only care about this baby. Come on. Dorothy, don't talk like that. You know that is the truth. Once you get what you want, you will just discard me. You know that's not true. Listen, just sit down and relax, okay? Don't tell me to relax. I'm fine. I'm relaxed. Okay, just leave me alone. Fine, if that's what you want. Leave me alone. Sorry. 
What for? For the way I spoke to you yesterday. Oh. There's nothing to be sorry about. There is no justification for what I said. None whatsoever. Oh. Dorothy. It's not you that was speaking yesterday. It's the hormones. Listen, pregnant women overreact all the time. So don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Thank you. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Sure. I have never heard you talk about your family. Because there's nothing to talk about. How come? My parents died when I was little and I was the only child. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. I bounced from relative to relative until I graduated from fashion school. Oh wow. That must have been a very challenging life. <laughs> life itself is challenging to everyone. It's okay. <laughs> You know, you should be really proud of yourself. And I know that eventually all your dreams will come true. Amen. Look, I just hope that I'll be able to give my unborn kids a better future and also give them what my parents couldn't give to me. I wish that for you too. And you know what? I want you to tell me what it will cost to make your dreams come true. I'll give it to you. <laughs> You're joking, right? <laughs> no, I'm not joking. <laughs> Are you being serious? Absolutely. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, are you, are you, what is it? I don't know. I think the baby is not doing fine. No, hold, hold on. Let me, let me call the doctor right in here. Hold on. Darcy! Darcy! Where is she? Dorothy, are you here? Dorothy! Where is she? Trouble. Ah. Hello? Dorothy! Where have you been? Whose number are you calling me with? Oh my god, we're on our way back. She's in the neighbor's house on the street. Are you for real? Let's just go. Let's just go. Oh my god, I told you about this girl. Oh you would never listen to me. You would never listen. Okay, that's fine. Let's go. Let's have it.
Young woman, what's happening? Where have you been? Ada, it's okay. No, it is not okay. In fact, nothing about this is okay. How can she leave the house without any single explanation? And you're telling me it is okay? Dorothy, where did you go to? Where have you been? I just needed to clear my head. Ha <laughs> ha! Who? I understand. It's okay. But you should have said something. You should have just walked away like that. I was looking for you everywhere. I'm sorry, Ma. I'm not in control of my body anymore. I feel like this is not my body. <laughs> I understand. You're going to be fine. Eh? Uh, I just want to go to bed and sleep. Mm -hmm. Sure, if that's what you need. Go and rest. Thank you. Ah! What, what is it? Wait a minute. What are you okay? What's it? The thing's coming. Now? Ah! We have to wait. Ah! Wait, 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 wait,
sent her five million naira this morning. You did what? Tyra! Oh, gosh. I can't believe this. You transferred money into her account? Okay. So what if she comes back to accuse you of stealing her baby? What would you say? That's not what I'm thinking about right now, okay? I'm just going to spend time with my daughter. She's mine. All right? What if something happened to her? Oh my God. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Tara! It's so hard to please. Yeah. How can someone so tiny cause such my headache? That's an issue you can't even explain, trust me. <sighs> oh my gosh. What can I do to make her to stop crying? Um, just keep holding on to her. I can't hold on to her forever. You say what? <laughs> Wait. Are you are you being are you paying? Two weeks ago, you told me that uh, I can never leave my baby home. I must. Now you say you can hold on to her forever. Are you playing? Good. Keep mocking me. I'm not Continue. mocking you. Why would I want to mock you? I'm not mocking you. I'm just telling you the truth. Listen, girlfriend, you need a nanny to assist you. A nanny to take care of my daughter while I'm alive? I don't <sighs> think so. Don't deceive yourself, okay? That's just the best thing for you to do. You need a nanny, okay? Let me ask you a question. How many hours of sleep have you had this week? Sleep? What is sleep? Can you see? I told you. Listen, girlfriend, get a nanny to assist you. That's the best thing for you to do. I'm your friend and I can never deceive you, okay? Well, just in case you need someone, I have someone for you. If you're interested, though. Okay. Good. So how about Dorothy? I've not had anything from her. Perfect. I guess that's what God wants, so... Maybe. Wow, this is so interesting. Are you expecting someone? Mm. I'll get it done. You? You. Tara. What are you? What are you doing here? I live here. What are you doing here? Well, I... I came looking for Dorothy and the baby. What are you talking about? Where is she? Dorothy! What do you think? Dorothy! You're, what do you think you're doing? Where is she? Dorothy is not here. Well, I have it on good authority that she's been living here for months. Sorry, who are you to her? Well, I'm her ex. 
her ex-boyfriend. No way. Do you remember the day we bumped into each other? I was actually there to give her some of her things she left at my apartment. <laughs> That's impossible. Please, where is she? Like I said, Dorothy is not here. Why do I have the impression that you're lying? I think you should leave. Look, I need to see her, okay? I need to know if what she told me is true. And what did she tell you? Oh, that she's pregnant and that I'm the one responsible for it. <laughs> well, in that case, call her then. Well, I have. A million times, but she's not been taking my calls. From my calculations, if what she told me is true, then by now she should have just given birth. Mr. Man, I think it's time for you to leave now. Thank you. Well, I can't. Not until I see her and the baby. The last time we spoke, she told me she's giving the baby up for adoption. And I told her never to try it if she's serious that it's mine. She has never mentioned you, though. Listen, there's no way in this life that I will let her give my baby up for adoption. I'm afraid she's no longer here. And you need to leave right now. Is that not the cry of a newborn? Please leave. Listen, if I find out that you lied to me and that Dorothy and the baby are up there, you will not only face the wrath of the law, but you will also face mine. If you do not leave my house right now, I will call the police. I'll leave, but know that this is not the end. I'll be right back. You know him? Yeah! You remember the guy I told you I broke his phone some months ago? Oh, so that's him? The one that was asking you out? Yeah! This can't be happening to me. How am I supposed to fight this? How can Dorothy let this happen to me? Uh, according to Dorothy, he's Joel's father. He's yours. Okay. And no one can take her away. We just have to find a way to figure this out. Oh my god. How could I have been so stupid? How could I have been so careless? Just like this. is yours. And we have to fight to win her back. You think I can win this? If there's anything I know about you, it's your determination to win at anything you put your mind to. This won't be an exception. You're right. I'll fight this. And I need to come up with a plan immediately before it's too late. Do you think he will still come? He, he has to come. He needs to. Sarah, can you please just calm down? You're making me nervous. You should be nervous. I am nervous. Hell, the entire universe should be nervous. Noted. Can you please sit down now? Please! Oh, he's here. Mr. Bayo, thank you for coming. Please sit down. Thank you for inviting me. Um, can we get you anything? No, but thank you. 
um, I, I was told that we came to talk. So please, let's talk. I'm listening. First and foremost, I think it would be nice if we get to know each other personally. You know, I feel like we started off on a wrong note. Sure. My name is Tara, Tara Macaulay. I'm a celebrity fashion designer. And here's my best friend, Adama. Nice meeting you. Well, my name is Bayom Williams. I'm a software engineer. I am based in Abuja. We're currently working here in Lagos. Now that we've gotten that out of our chest, can we please talk about my child? Well, if you must know, Dorothy used to work for me. Yeah. That's why you convinced her to give me my child. How could you do such a thing? Sir, please. Please. Can you just calm down and allow my friend explain to you? Okay. I'm listening. As I was saying, Dorothy used to work for me. And when she got pregnant, she was determined to get an abortion. According to her, the man who got her pregnant was not in the picture. And she wasn't ready to be a mother. Yeah. So you just swooped in right away. I knew she was going to regret her decision later in life. So I offered her a better option. Adopt the child so that she can go live her life. Look, look, look. I am grateful, right, that you stopped her from having an abortion. And look. Dorothy might have given away the baby, her own right, but then I'm the father, and I will never give away my daughter. Never. Don't, 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 don't call her that. Call her what? Your child. She's mine. Interesting. So what do you propose? Hmm? That I get up, walk out that door, and act as if nothing ever happened? Well, <laughs> it will make it easy on everybody. Ah, uh, easy. You want easy? Well, I'll give you easy. Give me back my child. Then I'll make sure the law takes it easy on you. Dorothy has already signed off her right. Well, I never did. And I'm her father. I think we all should calm down and be reasonable. <sighs> Mr. Bayer, my friend here wouldn't have opted to adopt your daughter if she knew you were still in the picture. I just feel like the only person we should be blaming right now is your girlfriend called Dorothy. <laughs> but we can actually reach an agreement, if you don't mind. What kind of agreement? <sighs> she allows you to come visit her once in a while. So I need your permission to see my daughter. It's, I think you should consider it. It's the best alternative. Yeah. I will think about it and get back to you. Do you think you convinced them? <sighs> Girlfriend, I have no clue. Oh my God, this can't be happening. Giving you four days to return the child? Unless they'll be suing you? Yes. So, what are we going to do? I don't know. Maybe it's over. It cannot be over. Don't say that. You know what? I know what to do. We'll have to find a way to figure this out. But there's no way I will, I will win this in court. There is no freaking way. I seriously need a miracle. You know what? 
let's just pray. Why? Because at this point we need a miracle. You need a miracle. So let's pray. Hold on, hold on. I think I've figured out what to do. I'm going to take Jewel and run away. <laughs> you must be out of your mind. Yes! If Bayan and his lawyers cannot find me, they can't force me to hand over my daughter. Come on, Tara, please stop. That's not a good idea. Stop it. Cancel it. Oh. That could be the lawyer. I'm not here. I don't even live here anymore. I'm not anyway. Just like you suspected. His lawyer. God, I told you I wasn't home. Girl, there's no point pretending. It makes no sense. You shouldn't have created the letter. And now that you have, it's over. It is not over. You have to call your lawyer. And do that now. I should have run away. Oh, not again. You were not in that arbitration room, Adama. This is a lost cause. And my, and my lawyer is, is a worthless moron. Well, you can't, you can't really blame him. That's the truth. Yeah. There's no evidence. That's Thank why. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me that I'm stupid. Nope. You're not stupid, okay? Don't say that. Listen, we just have to calm down and figure a way out about all of these things. I need to call my travel agent. I have to run. Run to where? Girl, when did you become a criminal? Have you not been listening to me? Why would you even consider that in the first place? I will not lose her. I will not lose Joel. I'd rather be a fugitive than lose my child. Tara! I'm not stopping, I'm not going to, I'm not going to make it. Tara! Someone is here to see you. I don't want to see anyone. Just stop this, okay? Stop it! What? Trust me, you want to see the person downstairs. Let's go. You, what do you want? Today was bloody, especially for you guys. Excuse me, are you here to mock me? Apologies, that wasn't my intention. I came so we could talk. I'm all ears. Can we talk in private? You can say anything you want to say in front of my friend. No, it's okay. It's okay. I have something to go fix in the kitchen real quick. I'll just excuse you guys.
So with the way today went and my lawyers were just going on you guys, I suddenly felt I was being unfair to you. You're damn right about that. Well, if I'm being honest, this whole thing isn't really your fault. I mean, Dorothy was the one who agreed to allow you to adopt Joel, right? Definitely. Yeah. So if you want, you could end this whole thing. How do you suggest we go about that? Well, we could take a break from this whole arbitration thingy. I mean, without you, there won't be a baby in the first place. You want us to take a break? To what end? Well, I really don't know. But what I do know is that going on with this thing won't be right. So you're just going to walk away? No, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Dorothy already walked away, I can't. This whole truth thing will be based on one condition. That I'm allowed to see my daughter. What if I say no? Well, then my lawyers will have to go on. And trust me, it won't favor you. Can I at least think about it? What is there to think about? I mean, this whole thing favors you and you alone. Okay. So we have a deal. I guess we do. Good. So, um, can I see my daughter now? Sure. Joy? Joy! Madam! Ma, what do you need? Please kindly bring Joel. Okay, Ma. I just think this may be the miracle we've been praying for. You think so? Oh, yes. Hey, hey. Listen, you don't have to abscond anymore. And besides, I can't believe you're trying to do that like a common criminal. Girl, I was desperate, okay? Tara, I understand how much drama means to you. Trust me. But you have to be coming down. Be coming down, no, because... Hey, <laughs> God. See, girl, listen to me. I know it's going to be very hard for you, you know, getting to see this guy coming to the house all the time. But you have to deal with it. You don't have a choice. See, we find a lasting solution to this. Okay? I guess I could do that. Oh, thank you so much. For the sake of joy. <laughs> You're here? Oh, hi. I thought we agreed you wouldn't come around except I'm around. Joy! Madam. Welcome. I thought I warned you that no one should touch my baby except I'm home. Sorry, ma. Oh, please don't. Don't blame the poor girl. I was passing by and I decided to come say hello to this wonderful princess. I see. But moving forward, please make sure I'm home before you could visit. Copy that. How is she? Wow, she's wonderful. But she's one hell of a cryer too. Oh, she's <laughs> very good at that. I'm surprised you could get her to sleep. Ah, uh, trust me, it wasn't easy. But my grandma prepared me for this mission. 
Your grandma? I don't understand. Oh, I lived with my grandma till I went for the university. And our house was always swarming with grandchildren, great-grandchildren, neighbors' children, you just name it. Oh. Yeah, she took delight in taking care of them. <laughs> wow. She must have been one hell of a woman. <sighs> she was, yeah. Uh, you know, my love for children came from her. She died being surrounded by little ones. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a wonderful way to die. Indeed. Indeed. You know, my mom was that way too. You don't say? Yeah, she was a school proprietress. And she often said the reason she established the school was to pour her love into children, to see them grow into beautiful human beings. Wow, mm -hmm. that's wonderful. Yeah. I mean, one can only wish to live such a, an amazing life. Mm. And I have a feeling you would. Yeah. So what's the verdict? Unfortunately, my impression of him is quite positive. Unfortunately? Yeah. I mean, you know I hate his gods for trying to take my child away from me. But, like I said, unfortunately, he seems to be a decent human being. You don't mean it. Yeah. And he's actually very good with you. And that drives you crazy, right? Yes! I want him to suck at this. I want him to suck so much. I want Joel to frustrate him so bad that he will run far away. <laughs> oh, and my little Joel, she's trying her best. She's trying her best to frustrate him, but this guy will not get frustrated. <laughs> it's not funny. I want to get rid of him as fast as possible. It's, this is so hilarious. I'm very sorry, girlfriend. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. I know you want to get rid of this person, but you have to relax. For now, let's just pretend and go with the flow. Okay? Okay. 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 What happened? <laughs> it's Auntie Joel. <laughs> she got so full and decided to offload on me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, nah, it's fine. Can I help you wash the shirt? Ah, don't worry, I, I have a spare in my car. It's as if I knew this was going to happen. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> You're really serious about this? Oh, yes, I am. You are determined to take her off my hands. Wow, I thought... I think you should leave. Please leave. Fine, if that's what you want. wrong with her? Oh my god. Oh my god. Listen, I, 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 I'll, I'll join you just in a bit, okay? Just calm down. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh my god. How is she? <sighs> She's breathing fine now. Oh, thank god. The doctor says she's going to be okay. Yeah. 
Wow, that's such a relief. <laughs> I was just so terrified. I thought something was going to happen to her. Yeah, I know, but she's fine now. Yeah, I know, but it was just so heartbreaking to see her go through such pain. Yeah. <laughs> Come. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. All right, it's okay. She's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I I shouldn't have done that. No, it's fine. It's okay. No, it's not. It's not okay. Hey, Tara. Is it gone? Hmm. Beyond wanting to be close to his father, I think he likes you. What are you talking about? It is very obvious, girl. Please, stop talking nonsense. That guy doesn't like me one bit. He is waiting for me to let my guard down and then he will strike. Oh, come on, don't be ridiculous. Stop. I'm okay, serious. Like I think he notices that I'm vulnerable and he wants to take advantage of the situation. I will not let him take my child. Tara, can you please just stop it already? Please. After what happened to you yesterday, which you've been terrified, I just think he's just trying to be nice to you. Hmm. Mm hmm. Look at you. When your enemy becomes nice to you. Prepare to be eaten alive. Baby girl, you need some sunshine in your life. And you look like you've been bewitched. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, stop it, okay? You just stop. Girl, yeah, listen, this bobo, just to say, not the entire eyes. The entire eyes, accept them. Don't pretend, you understand? Me? <laughs> yes. Me like this. Uh. Huh. Mm. 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 <laughs> you see, you about. see this kind of handsome bobo hmm. that is actually very homely, considerate, mm -hmm. fine, mm -hmm. smell nice. You can't say that in your eyes. Mm. Oh, yeah, swear, swear that you're not attracted to him in any way. Where I come from, I don't swear. Eh, mm -hmm. from where you come from? <laughs> just, they play, just they play my fans. Mm. Just they play. <laughs> they play my fans. <laughs> Oh my gosh. If you ask me, I would say you drive yourself too hard. I have not asked you. Ouch. Are you always this caustic? Look, I'm a good guy. Okay, I may not always get things right, but I I always try my best. Okay. You're a hardworking lady. You know, work, the baby. It's starting to tell on you. It's time you take a break. We could hang out. <laughs> I understand your hesitation. I'm a stranger who is trying to take what you love and hold there away from you. In your shoes, I'll probably be more suspicious. Suddenly, I feel like a jerk. Oh, that's not my intention. A hangout. A harmless outing. I'll go get dressed.
fun. Thank you so much. I had so much fun. I hope you had fun. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> I'm glad. You know, stress can be a very terrible thing to the health. So once in a while, it's okay to just shut everything off and relax. Relaxation is my new what word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I'm glad. Yeah. So, okay, that's good. So, um, I'll be on my way now. All right. Don't you want to come in? <laughs> Did those words just come out of your mouth? Just oh, today must be my lucky day. Okay. <laughs> just come in and see Joel before you leave. That's all. All right, after you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, you did what? I matched the dark red carpet with three hefty men. Snatched her expensive bag, snatched her ridiculously shiny shoes, and guess what? <laughs> what? She paid me for it. Wow! Oh my god. <laughs> god, you're a badass. <laughs> These celebrities, they have a way of making your life difficult, but guess what? Hmm. I have learned how to deal with them. Ha. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should employ you. To do what? Uh, to deal with my clients. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. But just know that I'm not cheap. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you sure know how to handle your alcohol. Hmm. That's another way of calling me drunk. <laughs> hey, come. <laughs> no problem. I'm a happy drunk. Drink. Oh. What are you doing? Let me pour your drink. Come on. Well, you know you can match me with drinks, right? Are you sure? Yeah, of course. Was she body? <laughs> body the drinker. Drunk. Yeah, well, even that, I'm sure we didn't do anything. <sighs> you say so. But what are we doing though? What you mean? Or are we acting like friends? Oh, we're not friends. <laughs> You're trying to take my daughter from me. We can't be friends. She's my daughter. Why are you making it sound as if I'm the enemy? Well, we both know that you're going to eventually try to take her. Jesus Christ. God. What do I have to do to make you see that I am? I do not mean any harm. Okay, I've done everything to make you see I have only good intentions, but no, you will not rest till I disappear. We don't have to scream. You want me to disappear? Fine. Maybe that's what I will do. I'll just have a good day. Okay. I see. Hmm. He hasn't visited for three days now. I guess he has finally given up. Oh, finally. <laughs> Your wish has come true. I don't know. For some strange reason, I keep wishing he would stop by. Ah. Hmm. I told you you like him, right? Why would you say that? You just confess now that you miss him. Me? When? You said you enjoy his company. Girl, what are you talking about? I was being polite. Polite? Hmm. Okay. But I know that's more than that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. My changed attitude towards him is obviously because of Joel. For a drive. Yeah. 
Okay. Duh. Okay, if you say so. Rest though. And I don't rest. rest. I don't rest. Hello, Dorothy. Where have you been? What, what nonsense are you talking about? Look, Dorothy, listen to me. She called me. Same yesterday. What did she say? Oh, she, nothing really. She was just saying some things that didn't make any sense. I just wanted to know if she contacted you too. <laughs> I'm, I'm not surprised she didn't. Oh, okay. All right. So um, I will go now. See you some other time. Uh, don't, don't go. You don't want me to go. Sure. Why? No, no exact reason. I just say. Say what exactly? Are you missing me? Okay. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I missed you. Like I've never missed anyone. Not as much as I missed you. Gosh, I was losing my mind. I can happily do this. <laughs> so how is this story going to be told? She snatched her peers, man. Look, Dorothy and I broke up long before I set my eyes on you. <laughs> well, who's going to tell them that? Hey, do you really care about public opinion or are you just scared? Scared? What could I possibly be scared of? Being loved. <sighs> That's ridiculous. Oh, is it? So the mere thought of being vulnerable terrifies you. Hmm. But guess what? Only cowards are scared of vulnerability. I'm no coward. Convince me. See you some other time, okay? Yeah. Hey. Just say it. Yeah, say it. Thank you, Ma. You're welcome. I know you must hate me right now. No. I don't hate you. I don't know. I know I've been a terrible, terrible person. Hey, I don't know what came over me. It's okay. All is forgiven. Thank you. What about Bayo? Has it been bothering you? Well, 
he, he's been around. He's been around. Well, I'm, I'm here now to sign the contract. I'm sure after that you'll leave you alone. Well... Um, how is she? Can I go and see her? Oh, thank you. Oh. Where is she now? I don't know. She vanished as suddenly as she appeared. Look, you need to relax. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Anytime she shows up, something bad happens. Nothing bad is going to happen. But she's here to sign her own rights away. Right, that's a good thing. I don't know. I just, I just have a funny feeling about this. Just calm down. All right, come. Everything will be fine. All right, come. No! Oh my goodness! Is this it? Hey, um, oh my Dorothy, God. whatever you call yourself again, can you just get a grip of yourself? How can I do that when the both of you are together? It's not that simple, okay? So you are not together? Whether we are together or not is none of your business. Why would you say that to me? When you know the only reason I considered abortion is because you said you would never leave your wife. Wife? So, did you just say wife? Oh, you didn't tell her that you were married? What? Is this true? Of course not. So she's lying? Yes. Dirty. Tell her now. Tell her what exactly? What do you want me to say? Okay. I have been in a relationship. I have been having an affair with a married man for a year now. Is that what you want me to tell her? Huh? Tara, you're obviously not going to believe this, right? You know, just, just leave. Okay? Just go. What? But Yoshi said you should go. Leave. Ha! Men! Buy your leave, leave! It's not your house. Ha! Men! You must really like him. I'm so sorry. Men. Ma! I'll ask you again, Dorothy, what do you want here? And what in God's name is wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with me. So how could you tell Tara such obvious lies about me? And how can you even be with her? It's none of your business. Lies? You told me you were not ready for a relationship. That is the reason I gave out our daughter. No, you're a liar. You gave out our daughter because you are irresponsible and a terrible mom. Well, go to hell. Darcy! Joy! Darcy! Joel is not here. I, I, can't, I can't find anybody. I don't understand. Nobody is here. Like, I, can't, I can't find my child. Dorothy is not here. I can't find Joy. Nobody is here. Where could she have gone to? Relax. I don't. Relax. I don't know. Relax. relax. What? Relax. Joy! Where have you been? Auntie, Dorothy is make I buy all these things. Oh my god. Did you left. She left. You left my child. Oh. Madam, Tara, Madam, Tara, Tara. 
Hello. What? All right, I'm on my way. I know. Is it is this part of your plan? What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that my daughter is gone. Hey, will you calm yourself down? Look, I'm going to fix this. I promise. Just calm down. Dirty, come in. Hey, sweetie. Where is she? Where's Joe? <laughs> Don't worry about her. Where is she? Where's Joe? You don't have to worry, Bayo. She's okay. Hmm? Where is she? <laughs> Look, I, I need to know we are going to be a family. What are you talking about? <laughs> we have a child together. So we have to build this union. Look, that is never going to happen. But th that is because of her, right? Look, of course, right? We can be together. Hmm? <laughs> um, my fire. <laughs> <laughs> so where's the baby? Okay, I'll tell you that after you give her a call. Give her a call? <laughs> tell her, of course. And tell her that we are now together. Hmm? Do you think that's necessary? Yes. <laughs> In fact, you should do it now. Call her. Now. <laughs> now. You must be kidding me. He would never do that. He called me. He said I'll never see Joel again. He's taking her to go start a family with Dorothy. Unbelievable. I knew I shouldn't have trusted that guy. I just knew. as a bargaining chip just so we could restart our relationship. Why you said you were going to be with me? No. Now you know that's never going to happen. But you promised. I had to tell you what you wanted to hear just so you could give me back the baby. Are you this cruel? You take a child away from her mother. Dorothy, we both know you never cared about her. You never wanted her. That it was me you wanted, not her. What is wrong with me? Hmm? Why can't you just love me? Nothing is wrong with you. Okay? 
And I'm very sure that there's a guy out there who will love you the way you deserve. But I'm sorry, that guy is not me. So you loved her? It doesn't matter. Look, if you loved her the way you say you do, then your concern right now should be about who will give her the best life possible. You and Tara should get ready for one hell of a fight. Is she asleep now? Yeah. Finally. Finally. <sighs> yeah. Um, once again, thank you. There's no need. You're her true mom. So, um, I guess this is goodbye. Like, I'll be returning to my base in Abuja and... Uh, but I will just keep in touch to, to know how Joel is doing. Later. What? Hey. I, I want you to stay. Why? Um, because of Joel. She, she needs her father. What of you? What about me? Goodbye, Tara. I, I need you. I need you, Fali. I know I suck at showing it, showing how I feel, but I truly love you. That's so difficult to say. Hmm? 